Hi everyone, hope you're having a fabulous day. Special shout out, as always, to everyone joining us from Africa, and in particular, Zambia. My name is Kim, and this is Omoyo Life. Today, I wanna to talk to you about alkaline water. What is it? Should we be drinking it? If so, what are some of the benefits? But to understand alkaline water and what it does and acidity and alkalinity in our body, our tissues, it's all based on pH. So we really need to understand what pH is all about. So pH stands for potential of hydrogen. So essentially what pH measures is the amount of hydrogen ions in something. The more hydrogen ions, the more acidic that thing is. But let's have a look at the pH scale, just to remind ourselves of what we learned back in school. So here's my very simple pH scale. As you can see, it goes from zero to 14, with seven in the middle, and that is neutral. And then whatever is between seven and zero is considered acidic, and whatever is above seven is alkaline. Now the way this works is that every step you take on this scale, so for instance if we were to go from 7 to 8, then we have increased the alkalinity 10 times. So as you go up the alkalinity increases drastically and likewise as we go down the scale the acidity increases drastically tenfold every step we take. So our bodies are supposed to be alkaline. That's when we feel good, that's when we're healthy. Things like bacteria, viruses, diseases of all kinds have a very difficult time manifesting in an alkaline environment. Dr. Otto Warburg won the Nobel Prize in medicine when he showed that the primary cause of cancer is lack of oxygen. Now, what causes lack of oxygen? Acidity. So they have linked acidity directly to cancer. In addition, acidity has been linked to inflammation. And inflammation is one of the cornerstones of so many of the chronic illnesses that we see today, including diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, and so on. You don't find inflammation in an alkaline body but it goes hand in hand with an acidic body. Also, if you're trying to lose weight, it is almost impossible in an acidic body because the fat is protecting you from that acidity. It encapsulates that acidity so that it doesn't put pressure, for instance, on your blood because your blood pH has to always be somewhere between 7.35 and 7.45. Now, it can't go outside that threshold. If it does, you essentially die. So it's very important that your body regulates its acid alkaline balance. And one of the ways it does that, if you have too much acidity in the body, is that it holds on to that fat for dear life. So one of the easiest ways for you to start losing weight is get your body into an alkaline state. That rhymes. So how do we help our bodies get back into an alkaline state? Well, it has very much to do with how you eat and what you drink. And of course, today we're talking about, in particular, alkaline water. And alkaline water will have a higher pH that can help you. It's not the solution, but it's one thing among many that can help you get back into an alkaline state. So benefit number one of drinking alkaline water is that it helps your body restore pH balance. Reason number two for drinking alkaline water is that it is a super antioxidant because it is jam-packed with hydroxide ions. But this only refers to ionized alkaline water like this one. So alkaline water contains a lot of antioxidants. And we hear that term flying around all the time, but what are antioxidants? What does that mean? What, what do they do? Antioxidants, the reason we want them is because they neutralize free radicals. But what the heck are free radicals? Let me explain. 
To explain antioxidants and free radicals, we have to go back to chemistry. And when I show you this, I'm sure you'll remember this again from school. Anyway, here I have my chart of an atomic structure. So basically, this is an atom. And in the middle, that dark ball in the middle, that's your nucleus. That's where the protons and neutrons exist, right? And then around the nucleus, you'll recall that you have these electrons whizzing around. So the electrons are these dots here, these black dots. So far, so good. Great. So a free radical is essentially an atom that has lost one of these electrons. So it's missing an electron. And because of that, it doesn't feel whole anymore. So what does it do? It goes out and tries to steal an electron from another atom. But the problem with that is that when it's stealing something from another atom, it damages that atom. So that is how free radicals damage tissues or whatever it is in the body. But who could blame them? They're just trying to get whole again. Now, antioxidants, on the other hand, have an extra electron. So they're feeling very generous and are quite happy to give that extra electron to the free radical. And because of that, now the free radical feels whole again and doesn't have to go out stealing an electron and damaging tissue because of it. Problem solved. So free radicals are linked to many diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, cancer. So anything, and of course aging. Free radicals are the major cause of aging. So if you wanna slow down your aging and help prevent some of these illnesses, antioxidants become very, very important. So free radicals, we can't eliminate them entirely and your body's constantly producing them. But there are some external factors that also promote excessive production of free radicals. Things like pollution, cigarette smoke, uh, drinking a lot of alcohol, toxins and chemicals that we're exposed to. Also high sugar intake causes a lot of free radicals uh, production in your body. Intense exercise is another one. So there are many things that produce free radicals in your body every single day. Oh, I forgot one, infections, whether bacterial, fungal, viral, they also cause your body to produce free radicals. But it is important then that your body has a defense with antioxidants to help neutralize some of this excess. It's about finding that balance. Okay, but this video is about alkaline water. So how does alkaline water fit into this whole picture? Well, ionized alkaline water contains a lot of hydroxide ions which have an extra electron, which means they're an antioxidant that they can give that extra electron to neutralize a free radical so that they feel whole again. And therefore, alkaline water is supercharged antioxidants. Benefit number three of drinking alkaline water has to do with better hydration. And you may ask, well, how is that possible? I mean, water is water, it's hydrating you, right? No, basically what happens is that water, the molecules cluster together. <clears throat> and this is important to pay attention to because to hydrate your cells, those water molecules have to go through the cell membrane, basically the aquaporin, like a channel to get inside the cell and hydrate the cell. Now, if that cluster of water molecules is very large, then it's difficult for the water to get through that membrane and hydrate the cell. Now with alkaline water, ionized alkaline water that has gone through electrolysis, what happens is that the water becomes micro clustered. These large clusters of water break up into smaller clusters of water that can much more easily get through that cell membrane and hydrate your cells and hence hydrate the whole of you. So, better hydration. One of the most important things with whatever water you're drinking is that it is pure, that it is clean. So with Omoya's alkaline water, we first purify it and then put it through reverse osmosis. 
and that cleans the water wonderfully. And then after that, it goes through ionization to make sure it is alkaline. Now, if we were just drinking reverse osmosis water, the problem with that is that it, although it cleans the water, it strips out all the essential minerals in the water, all those electrolytes that are so important for our health. So if you're drinking reverse osmosis water day in and day out, that can actually lead to a lack of minerals in your body, especially if you're not eating so healthy, not eating enough vegetables and fruits and things then you might become mineral deficient and that can then lead to complications with your health in the future. And this can happen over just a period of several months. So to overcome the problem of reverse osmosis, stripping the water of minerals, what we've done with the Moyo alkaline water is that we have remineralized it, basically put those minerals, those electrolytes back into the water. And that's why it even says here plus electrolytes because we put them back into the water. And those minerals, of course, super essential for your health. So there you have it, guys. The four main reasons for drinking alkaline water helps restore body pH super potent antioxidant, better hydration, and healthy minerals. Plus, I must say, it tastes absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried it yet, try it. As always, if you enjoy the show and you want more health tips and information, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye.